of Hurricane Milton continues now. You can see what the Tabby Island Scott Cam looks behind me from Farrah and Farrah. Right now, as the waves continue to come in, we know that conditions out there could change over the next 24 hours. I want to bring in Bronte Soratsky, our reporter who's out live on Tybee. Bronte, a lot of folks out there worried about Highway 80. I know worried about the beaches as well. What can you tell us folks have told you throughout the day? Yeah, the biggest thing that people need to know if they live on Tybee or they're staying out here is that you need to stay out of the water and brace for the possibility that 80 could close. Our biggest concern for our area is our beach. Tybee Island's mayor issuing this warning to anyone thinking about going in the water the next few days taking extra precaution as Milton is expected to impact the region. We've taken all the mobile objects off the beach, trash cans, lifeguard stands, all those things are either off the beach or tied down. Lifeguards flying double red flags due to life-threatening conditions in the water. We don't, want, we don't want people in the water at all, you know, during all day tomorrow, all day Thursday. We Next biggest concern ahead of Thursday, access to the island. Expect that Highway 80 is going to be covered with water and we'll be, um, we'll be strapped probably for a couple of hours out here. Local businesses like Huckapoo's already preparing should any staff be unable to come in. Some live out here and then some live on Wilmington, so that is a concern. If, uh, if you know, we think it's going to be dangerous, obviously they don't come. Just the people that live on the island okay. come and, and uh, fill the void. And locals grabbing sandbags and getting their homes ready ahead of this next storm. All of these impacts as people head out to the island for one of its biggest events. We don't want Milton to be one of our pirates this year. Also, in anticipation of this storm, GDOT crews have been out in full force, getting rid of all that rock that washed up from Helene, hoping that more doesn't wash up on the road again tomorrow. Reporting live on Tybee Island, Bronte Sorotsky, WTOC News. Bronte, thank you for that live report. Schools in our area are seeing impacts from this as well. They are preparing ahead of Milton's arrival. Of course, that's coming into Florida and it's impacting our area, or at least we are expecting it to. Savannah State has moved to remote learning. Georgia Southern also heading toward remote learning. Armstrong and Liberty campuses only. No effects for the Statesboro campus. You can find a full list of school impacts and more at our website, WTLC.com. Just look for this story on our homepage. You're taking a live look now from our general.